Is Iran Park clash a threat to India's interest? A day before Minister for External Affairs S J Shankar returned to India from a two-day visit to Tehran. On January 17, 2024, Iran sent shock waves around the region with a missile strike in Pakistan. Target of the attack was described as hardline Sunni Muslim militant groups in southwest Pakistan. The day Jay Shankar returned, Pakistan retaliated similarly. India, however, supported Iran strikes reminiscent of its stance during the 2019 Balakot incident in Pakistan. Amid global concerns over Houthi attacks on cargo ships in the Red Sea, the potential escalation between Iran and Pakistan poses a new threat to the Gulf of Oman, spreading into the Arabian Sea. Explore the rest of the story. On January 15th, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar reached Tehran. During his two-day visit, he had talks with Iranian leadership. indicating india's intention to rekindle its interest in the islamic republic starting his trip with discussions on the chabar port and the international north south transport corridor with the iranian roads and urban development minister underscores a renewed emphasis on infrastructure cooperation with houthi disruptions to red sea shipping in the background this was an important and urgent visit just after jay shankar's departure from tehran iran executed a missile strike the following day targeting what it identified as hardline sunni muslim militants in southwest pakistan this strike represents one of iran's most severe cross border assaults on the sunni militant group jaish al adal in pakistan citing its connections to the islamic state two days after the initial incident pakistan retaliated by launching an air strike on what it claimed were separatist militants in iran The heavily armed neighbors frequently clash over frontier instability. The escalation heightened concerns about increased instability in the Middle East, a trend unfolding since the Israel-Hamas conflict in October. Iran-backed militia spanning from Yemen to Lebanon have been targeting US and Israeli interests, including Red Sea shipping in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza. Additionally, this development occurred just a day after Iran conducted attacks in Iraq and Syria, claiming to target Israeli espionage and Islamic state operations in each respective country. For Iran, the trigger for the flare-up was a devastating bombing on January 3rd that killed nearly 100 people. The bombing took place at a ceremony in the southeastern city of Karban to commemorate Commander Qasem Soleimani's death anniversary. Soleimani was killed in US drone attack in 2020. Through this attack, Iran aims to send signals to the US that it won't hesitate to strike inside Pakistan where the US wants to establish a new air base. After being evicted from Afghanistan, US wants to keep a toe hold in Pakistan to counter check Chinese influence in the region. Any escalation in tension between Iran and Pakistan will hurt India's interest and possibly another trade route in the Gulf of Oman. Though there are high stakes involved such as India's investment in the Chabar port in Iran and Chinese investment in Pakistan's Gwadar port. Both India and China have leverage over Iran and Pakistan. However, international diplomacy sometimes gets really messy and priorities may shift. De-escalation would be difficult in the immediate term given the high tensions and temperatures at play. But in today's geopolitics, economics plays a bigger role in diplomatic relations than mere land occupation.